Hi there, Pope Francis. This is Sister Mary Catherine. Can we chat? No, I'm not an angel, but I am a messenger, bringing a message to you from the simple pews of the faithful. About a billion of us. Uh, and you got, what, third largest landowner in the world? Something like that. Um, and I want to talk to you about all that money. You, you are doing some changes with the bank. Yay, keep it up. Because it was very corrupt, and you're hopefully working on that. Um, and you made some great statements about greed and capitalism, and what it does to the climate, and what it does to the poor. And I want you to keep that up. That's important, and you're right. But I think you got a credibility problem. And, you know, yeah, you didn't move into the papal states, which are ridiculously extravagant. And you seem to be dressing fairly simply, although I would say those are still ridiculously expensive clothes, even though they're simple. Cardinals, bishops, monsignors, all of it's ridiculous. And, you know, Peter said you're supposed to have jobs like the rest of us. And so we're, you know, supporting all these priests and, you know, we're about to have a job like the rest of us and wearing some simple clothes. And I really think you could go even simpler. You know, get it warm, you know, safe, comfortable clothes, but they don't have to be. Sell those frocks. Have a big garage sale. Take all the money you do from selling those frocks and give it some food to people that are hungry, uh, educate some children, pay for some medical care, you know, put some clothes on some homeless people, of which take some of your land, offer some free land where people can build a house. You know, there's just so many things that you could do to really spearhead, you know, the church as service, as shepherd. And that's what you are, shepherd of a billion people or more souls. And I'm proud of what you're doing, Francis. I'm proud of the things you're doing out there. But I think you and I need to get a big old bucket of soapy water and clean out the Vatican for a little bit. And then your credibility will get better. And then people will listen again. And people will hear what you're saying. You know, love one another. Love one another. Don't hoard money. Don't get haughty. Don't put on, you know, big expensive clothes and sit in a confessional and tell all the prisoners how they're doing terrible in the meanwhile you know we won't we'll go to that next time just love one another and have some faith in us that we're out here and we're good people and we'll support you as you do that i know your biggest opponents are probably in the vatican so if you need us to come with our scrub brushes we'll be there meantime god bless you i'll keep you in my prayers and i'll talk to you next sunday francis